the rabbits and not giving them their breakfast. Look, they're asking for their breakfast, Daddy. They are starving. They are starving. Oh dear. That's a bad situation when you've got to beg for your breakfast, isn't it? Breakfast, Betty Boog. Crunch, 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 crunch. Oh, do the piggies not want carrot? You don't want carrot. Carrot. Piggy, do you want, not want your breakfast? Oh, not want any carrot this morning for breakfast. Come on, come and get it. Oh, there's oh. movement, they're coming. Oh, 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 they're coming. Where'd you come from? Where'd you been? <laughs> <laughs> you going to get your breakfast? Oh, what have you got? Half a carrot? Oh, oh. I'm taking that over it. Betty always whacks it a few times to make sure it's dead, doesn't she? Yeah. Like whacks it over the head. Is that a nice little bumblebee? Oh, yay. Yes, that's nice. That's nice. Right, now they've all had their breakfast, we can have our breakfast. Oh, okay. What are we having, Mr. B? Are we having pumpkin pancakes? Yeah, yeah, even he's saying pumpkin pancakes. No need for panic, because just pumpkin pancakes. Yeah, pumpkin pancakes again on a Saturday. Whoop, 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 yeah. <laughs> I thought they it's were really nice before. Question. Yeah. Yeah. This is baking soda. Is bicarbonate. Bicarbonate of soda, I think, is the same thing because it was in the baking aisle next to the baking powder. So I'm pretty sure bicarbonate of soda is baking soda. What's the face? What does it say? It says to, to make a simple baking powder, use one part bicarbonate of soda and two parts cream of tartar. Oh, just put it in. What good harm can come of it? <laughs> oh, I think it's the right thing. Just try it. Live a little. Are we still going to use that? Yep. So we can miss all that stuff out. Just live a little, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkins. I'm more frightened of not being alive after your cooking. Oh. Whoa, they look good. They look good. I just hope they taste as good as last week, John. Well, I'm not sure. Why? I think it's beginner's luck last week. Was it? Yeah. It's a bit smoky in here. It is a bit smoky. Oh, there's a few little black charred bark parts. <laughs> I am grateful. <laughs> I know. Hi, Nim Nobs. Nibbles wants kisses. Smudgy. Nibbles wants kisses, look. Give Smudgy kisses. Oh. <laughs> Itch. Having such a lazy, lazy Saturday today. Decided it was about time I got dressed, even though it's like half past one in the afternoon. <laughs> um, I think, as I said, John's got Monday and Tuesday off work. He had... Um, a lot of annual leave to use up so he's just using it up um, and also I've got um, a consultant's appointment at the doctor's on Tuesday for my hand and he's taking me to that as well so yes yeah, so I think when you've got a, a long weekend ahead of you it's just nice just to kind of really take your time and chill and stuff so it's been nice the pancakes were lovely and just, we just sat and we were on our, it wasn't very sociable, but we do that quite a lot of the weekend. We just sit at the breakfast bar and have lunch, breakfast and um, go on the internet and kind of catch up with the blogs that we subscribe to on blog loving and stuff. And just kind of like, you know, in the old, I know people still do it, but like, you know how people used to get a newspaper and, and that? Well, we kind of read blogs. So that's kind of like our or newspaper <laughs> so that's quite nice we've been doing that and just pottering around john's cleaned the oven because we are that rock and roll in this house um and yes now lunch time lunch at a time lunch time beckons so i think i'm gonna make some dal for lunch and i love dal and it's a good job yesterday we bought a job lot of lentils told you you're having a lazy sunday so saturday it feels like a sunday got the hoover out because I was going to do some hoovering 
But if you come and have a look, hence why the rug is in a ball. But I've got two snuggly bunny rabbits in here and I don't have the heart to turn the hoover on and chuck them out. Look at them. Oh, all right. Are you having a nice snuggle day? Oh, nice. Nice little snuggle time. Where are your sisters? <sighs> I think the guinea pigs are faster snuggly as well. So let's go and have a look. I think they are. It's very quiet in here. Yeah. told you everyone was snuggled. Well I've just got a big vat of dal just simmering away for another 15 minutes before it's ready. I love dal so much. In fact I really really like lentils but yeah I do like my dal. <laughs> so while that's cooking away I've just been having a look on the um, Hobonichi site the 1101.com and I've seen so many videos of people doing Hobonichi, Hobonichi videos and Hobonichi flip throughs and I have to say they're doing a very good job of selling it to me so just having a look at that pretty colour. I'm just having a um, look on the site at the moment and just kind of having a look at what's out there. I kind of like that one with the bunnies on. Um, yeah, it's difficult to know whether to go for it or not. I've for me, I would use it um, as a journal, and I really like some of the um, style of journaling that people have been doing in their Hobonichis. And it's one of those things like I am always late to the party with stuff like this. Um, and I don't know, I don't know, and quite like my mother-in-law and John and that have asked me what I'd like for Christmas and so I'm thinking that I could ask one of those for Christmas, like ask for the money for it and then buy it because I think you'd need, I'd need to buy it soon before they sell out because I think everybody's buying them for the, you know, for next year. <sighs> so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So if you are, if you're a Hobonichi user, let me know what you think of them and whether I should do it and what size I should get. I really like the look of them. The only thing I don't like the look of is the price. Um, I've got my, <laughs> got my file of facts out, and I've just been looking at the price and six and stuff. So like the A6, it's all in yen. So I obviously did a currency converter. So to get the book. And the cover is about £27 um, pounds in the A6. To get the A5 size is about £38. Pounds, and then you've got the tax and the import on top of that. So I don't know. Oh, sorry about my finger yet there. It's a bit gruesome. My, um, yeah, my, my nail, nail has grown and it's starting to come up away from the bottom now. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, so I don't know and then yeah, and then you've got like the VAT and the tax On top of that. So I don't know. Is that just really expensive? Is it just really expensive for a journal and a cover? I don't know See I'm Particularly at the moment I because I pretty much hand sew, so I'm just gonna go and stir my Stir my doll. At the moment, uh, I mean, I pretty much hand sew all the time, and that's not something I can do at the moment. So, I would need to buy a cover because I've heard and seen that the um, the covers on them are quite flimsy. So I don't. So I need to buy the cover as well. And I kind of think if you're buying if you're buying it and you're going to import it and you're going to spend the money on the book then you might as well get the cover as well so I don't know I am a massive overthinker and because it's not just 10 pounds you have to kind of think about it and that's 
like probably all I would get for Christmas. I don't know. I don't even know what what my Christmas budget is, as it were. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But then I really, really like the look of them. <sighs> so I don't know. And I know quite a few of you guys do do the Hobonichi style of journaling and have Hobonichis. So please let me know what you think of them, um, if you have, and whether I'm just being silly and should just bite the bullet and just go for it. And I'll be, if I do it, I'll be like, well, I, why didn't I do this so sooner? <laughs> so that'd be really cool if you could let me know. And I'm gonna have a look. I've seen a few covers I like. I do like an A5 size journal, I have to admit, but then the A6 size would be quite nice for, in your pocket. Um, in there's some nice covers. Um, I which is this? It's the A6 size. In the A6 size, I like this minty coloured one, but that's sold out. I I can't decide whether I I like that one or not. I half like it, so I probably wouldn't go for it because I only kind of half like it. I quite like that one too. Um, yeah. I'm not really a big zippy up type person. That oh, so I just zoomed in. That one's quite cute. That's a lot though. That's four thousand yen, as is that one. But that one's quite cute as well. I quite like that one with the grey with the paisley sort of design on it. That's quite cute. And I like this mint one, but that's like sil like a silicone. So I don't know whether the silicone would um, do my head in or not. But I do like it. I think that is pretty. And then in the A5 size, I like the coastal blue, but that's out of stock. <laughs> um, I like the spotty yellow one, that's 3,000 yen. How much is the blue one? No, it doesn't say. Uh, so, and I like these. Oh, it's gone off. Oh, I don't know what you're doing. Stop it. Um, yeah, I like these two. That's gone pale now. Um, I like these two, but again, they're silicone, so I don't know what to do. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So, if you're a Hobonichi user, please let me know. We're having pancakes for dinner, because we had that doll for lunch. It was quite big, and um, neither of us were really that hungry, so we didn't think about doing dinner, and now it's like 8 o'clock and we're hungry and we decided just to have pancakes for dinner so we're starting the day with pancakes and ending with pancakes we're missing strictly on the telly while we're having our pancake supper tea time so john's put it on his iphone i think we need a little telly in here no, it's a slippery slope. it is a slippery slope but yeah we're just watching strictly on this iphone oh have you got much batter left uh, I've got enough for one more. Excellent. One little one. One little one. Ah, That's cute. I've got out of cooking duty because that's what I'm doing. The physio said when my hand hurts or aches, I need to hold cold stuff to reduce the swelling because my finger, I don't know if you can see it, has swollen up like nobody's business. And yes, I have been shedding a tear. <laughs> I'm so brave sometimes. John says I do too much. Oh, don't you? Yes. He says I do too much and I get carried away. Too stubborn. I am stubborn and then I get frustrated with the stuff that um, I want to do and can't do. And then I overdo it and then it hurts and I try and be brave. And <laughs> I'm about to cry, so you might want to stop filming. <laughs> They've had a busy day and they're absolutely pooped. Look, ah, and they clearly don't have enough space to sit, so they have to sit snuggling each other and propping each other up. So cute. My poor old girls. My old ladies. Ah, who likes Blodgett? Yeah, it's a good girl. I think her lump's starting to hurt her now. She, she lays on her side a lot more than she used to, bless her. 
but she's doing all right for an old lumpy girl. Hi cuties. I think she's ignoring us and trying to sleep. Uh -uh. Well guys, that was our snuggly Saturday. <laughs> and uh, I hope you liked hanging out with us. Um, well, you know, I guess when you're blogging every day, you guys get to see mostly the best, the good bits. <laughs> Um, but there is occasionally the odd mm, bit, but then I think everybody's life has a mm, <laughs> everybody's life has a mm, bit because not everybody's life is perfect, and obviously there are some things in my life that I prefer to remain private and don't share with you guys, but other times I think if I only ever showed you like tra la la happy happy tra la la all the time it would be incredibly fake and i think you guys would see through that i think you'd be like god she lives um she lives an abnormal un unnatural life because she's just dazzlingly happy all the time and i am happy most of the time just that every now and then in every life there's always a bit of not so nice time and yeah and I guess it's knowing what to share and when but you know you guys have been along the journey with me with my hand and you know I told you about it right at the very beginning and you've been along the journey with me so to stop sharing it would be a bit weird and all you guys have been really supportive at, you know and lovely towards me which has been fantastic and um yeah, it's just such a massive part of my life. It is part of my life now, so you can't kind of exclude it because that's what's going on. So, yeah, we go. Sunday tomorrow, so another lovely weekend day. Um, anyway, I keep thinking about the Hobonichi, and a few of you on Instagram said, yeah, just go for it, get both sizes. And I'm still umming and ahhing whether to go for it, well, for, uh, you know, because basically it's not me paying, it's, um, it's family. <laughs> So, but I'm like, do I want to spend, I don't know what my budget is, what, the, you know, my mother-in-law just asked me what I'd like for Christmas, and the budget kind of varies, I mean, sometimes she just buys, sometimes I give her a list, sometimes she, um, just buys me something, or, um, other times she gives me money and tells me how much I've got to spend, so, I don't know what my budget is, so, <laughs> if I find out what my budget is, then I will put down, if it, if my budget falls in the price of the Hobonichi, then I'll definitely get one. Um, so we'll see. Or I could put some money towards it or something. Anyway, I'm just still thinking about it. It's something that I would really like to try because I've seen so many fabulous videos on YouTube of them. So, Or the other option, of course, is to go down the Hobonichi route. And I've um, someone put me in the direction of a notebook a gridded notebook that I could use but then I just need to find a cover so yeah I've looked on Etsy there's a company called Woodland Cottage Farm now they've got some really nice covers um, but they're sort of more expensive than the Hobonichi covers so new no. um, and uh, I don't know as I said I can't make one myself at the moment because I'm a sewing um, but yeah, we'll see. So I could always go down the um, I could always go down the Fobonichi route and buy um, buy uh, Fobonichi, you know, like a, a gridded notebook, and then further down the line, buy a cover, make a cover, whatever. So that's just my random rambly thoughts on um, the Hobonichi stuff. Um, I'd really like to know what you guys think if you've got one or whatever. So. Let me know, um, and yeah, I'm going to have a bath and soak my hand and chill out with my husband and watch some telly, and I will see you all guys tomorrow. Take care guys, I hope you have had, a, either had or having, you guys in the States and Down Under and all that, a lovely um, Saturday, oh no, this Down Under doesn't work because you'll be coming into Sunday. Anyway, I hope you've had a really great Saturday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.